One magnesium molecule is the difference between what makes the leaves and uh, uh, you know the grass green as to your melanin. As a matter of fact, at one time you yourself was green. All right, when there was more chlorophyll in your body, hence more magnesium activation. It's a known fact that vitamin C and magnesium are no longer produced in your body on its own. Therefore, you need it from a secondary source. Okay? This is the reason why you have to eat now. But guess what? What's the primary source of life on this planet? The sun. The sun. This is why you are known as the sun people or the children of the sun. Because of your melanin. So here, melanin is black because it's the chemical structure that allows no energy to escape. That's the key to magnetizing is to make sure no energy escapes. Now, what happens is that your melanocytes and your melanin have the ability to absorb all forms of frequency, whether it's sunlight, sun rays, heat, um, sound, music. You have the ability to absorb all these various frequencies through your melanin. So here, making melanin the super absorber of energy and weight. So, you come to find out that it takes eight minutes and 20 seconds for the blood in your body to go to your brain to be made for the nutrients. Well, this is no coincidence because it takes eight minutes and 20 seconds from the sun being 90, 93 million miles away for the rays to touch down to the planet Earth. So, it takes the exact same amount as the sun rays coming from 93 million miles away to touch the Earth as it does for the blood in your body to go back to the brain. So hence your head, hence the halo area becomes known within the ancient when those who are actually initiated and become masters or adepts, they do what? They have a golden aura around the head, hence a sun disc, all right? Now this is very important because melanin helps you achieve this. Melanin is found in almost every organ of the body necessary in order for the brain and nervous Nerves to operate, to see, the eyes to see, the cells to reduce. Melanin can rearrange the chemical structure to absorb all energy across the radiant energy spectrum. As we said, sunlight, x rays, music, sound, radar, radio waves, etc. The black human can charge up his or her melanin just by being in the sun or around the right type of musical sounds and other energy sources. So remember, earlier on, we spoke about. The judge saying, do you understand the charges being brought up against you? All right? And if you say yes, what happens? It's a rap. It's a rap. Now, the universe tells you the same thing. You being a melanated being, you have the ability to charge yourself up all the time also. But this is done by the universe, which gives, the sun gives forth its energy freely to you. All right? And what is the sun? A sun is what? A star. So you have an interaction with a star, being a star being. So here, melanin itself on a philosophical plane is a black chemical biological door through which the life force of African spirituality passes and moving from the spirit to the material realm. Now, According to The Black Sun, which is a book by Peter Moon, he says that 666 is 6 photons, 6 neutrons, 6 electrons forming the physical body. Even according to the Holy Bible, in the book of Genesis, the first chapter says, God made man on the sixth day. The word, the sixth day, means that he made you from the carbon or from the sixth element. That's what that means. Now, um, this is simply the sexual organs of a male and female. Um, at nine weeks of fetus. And as you see, it's the same structure. So therefore, they can't tell you or can't determine, you know, at this time period if it's a male or female. So therefore, um, in the womb until estrogen and testosterone is produced, um, then that determines the male or female. Now, the male himself, which is the sperm, all right, the sperm, what happens is that it travels up the spinal column well, for those who don't understand the process, and to get baptized in the river Jordan, which actually is the third ventricle in the brain, which is filled with fluid, and to get baptized by the pineal gland, 
in which that the pineal gland, which the soul is embedded in, give forth the spark to the sperm. The sperm travels back down the spinal column, which is 33 vertebrates, just like Jesus died on the cross at the age of 33, all right? And travels back down um, to reside within the prostate gland to be gushed forth into the woman to bring forth light. When the tail breaks off, the head blows up to the equivalent size of the nucleus of the egg, and what happens is that now, um, what we call cellular division takes place, all right? Now, that's very important because what happens is that the soul is drawn down at the meeting between the sperm and of the nucleus of the egg. At that point, there's a vortex in which that opens up, in which that brings down what? The soul. All right? Now, the soul is there the whole time until the child. Now, the soul is, now you know what I'm saying, the word soul comes from the Latin word soul, S-O-L. And the word S-O-L means what? Son. Son. Which is what? A star. Solar energy. Solar energy. So, this soul is drawn down into the physical body, which is composed of a dead star, to make it live. The soul is what makes your physical body live. Okay? Now, what happens is that when you come out the womb, the doctor spanks you on your ass in order to make you take your first sweat. Right. And it's at their first breath in which that activates the soul principle in you. Okay? I just want to make sure you understand that because S O L S O U L is what we say. All right, so now let's go to the Korean archaeology, the hidden history of the human race by Michael Kimo and Richard L. Thompson. And they speak about that they found in South Africa, and they was mining, that they found um, three parallel grooves of a magnetic sphere in which that dates back to 2.8 billion years. So somebody on this planet Earth was smelting metal. 2.8 billion years ago. Not million. I know some of y'all might be watching out short crazy. And you see some Devin Ash, which is called Lucy, in which that goes like 2.8 million years. Well, this is 2.8 billion years. And it says what in the book? They obviously was created by intelligent beings. Of course, because I don't know who many people today who can smoke metal. <laughs> and then you smoke metal with a black um 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 black suit or something here? Okay. <laughs> All right. So if, if there is, then somebody can know what I'm talking about. What's the degree temperature that you have to um, have in order to, um, to um, um, smoke metal? 2,000 over 2,000 degrees. Exactly. Now remember, during this time period, they claim that, you know, that um, y'all was in the jungles, talking about some Bunga, you know, or even you was even on the planet at this time. Remember, they claim that you, you came from apes. Right, this is what they claim. Now, who seen that ape smoke metal? Yeah. Anybody? I seen him crack a nut. I seen him throw some shit. But I ain't seen one smoke metal yet. So, that means 2.8 billion years ago, it was life on this planet that they don't want you to know about. That's why it's in a book called Forbidden Archaeology. <laughs> and it says of the human race, the history of the human race. All right, now who's the humans on this planet? All right? Well, oh, I ain't seen no, I ain't seen no Neanderthal smoke no metal either. <laughs> all, all, <laughs> you know, you know, think about it. They said that, they said that Neanderthal, all right, or the Vivaldi man, whichever one they want to tell you about, they tell you that they discovered fire. Now, fire don't get 2,000 degrees. <laughs> you know? Now, unless it's being done in order to do something very special, we know that the Amphors didn't have that capability. All right? We know that for a fact. All right. If they did, they would have died out in the damn last ice age. 
and then that's the bringing of themselves within the Europeans and the Asians. Because the Africans are the only ones on this planet that don't have Neanderthal genes. You do not have Neanderthal genes. The European and the Asians have four to eight percent Neanderthal genes. Matter of fact, the European is two thirds Asian and only one third African. Okay? And you want to break it down on how they came into manifestation. But the point is, who went to college? Who went to college? Anybody? Okay. That's fine. I mean, I know y'all paid y'all own tuition in order to be told that y'all came from the eight. So right. You come here, you know what I'm saying? Um, ten dollars, and you can get told that you come from God, from me. Okay? Yeah, ain't no wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a watch compared to you know ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars at a school, right? Or more, right? Exactly, right? So you know for a fact we existed before the apes, and this is actually within the Theosophical Society. For those who know about Madame Babassia. In her book, Ice is Unveiled, as well as also her other book, The Secret Doctrine, it is spoken about the simple fact that there was human beings on this planet before the apes, so therefore a man did not come from a damn monkey. It's in the book. Of course, Charles Dory got paid in order to put forth and postulate that so called theory, in which that now is in the school. That benefited the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. All right? And keep you thinking that you were a beast. No, we showed you that. So, let's continue on. And here, I will try to show signs and symptoms of promoting man and states that the toi, or the original, or which you can refer to as the mystery of the pygmies, or the original and the oldest living people on the face of the planet Earth, the Tassetians, spoke of the toi people. And it says that they were small brown men who were the earliest inhabitants on Earth. So here, in the book, Gods and Spacemen in the Ancient West. Gods and Spacemen, now hold up, Gods and Spacemen in the Ancient West, and look what the book says, who the gods are. Pygmies, inhabited Earth for 30 million years, and more. So we show you 2.8 billion years. But even then, this is older than Dave Nash, which is only 2.8, and which they keep talking about, and which they can't make the differentiation if it was an ape or actually it was a woman. The ape woman or an actual woman. They can't make the determination. But we got proof <laughs> coming from them that God was on this planet. And in the ancient West, where did the East at? Africa. Where the East? So, so what the hell the gods in space been going over here in the West? Well, how did it happen? Because they were the pygmies. The pygmies are the oldest people on the face of the planet. That's who they descended from. All right? Now, in the book, Congo Katabu, it actually was called Pygmy. Um, you have Katabu Jane if you hear heaven, in which that documents that the pygmies of Zaire as the world's most genetically pure ethnic group. And their survival since the dawn of humanity in the real harmony of God and nature with each other. It's in the world. So, we understand that based on the pygmies, that anything which that we're thinking about being the English, the ones first and form, that means all religions, all theosophical information, all philosophies, all sciences, all civilizations, everything came from their mental archetype. In other words, everything in which that we're doing today on this planet came from the people who was first here in human form. All right. Now, it means, now in masonry, they say that masonry is a beautiful system of morality veiled in allegory. Allegory is very important because you're going to get into this information. You know, King James, um, Galatians 4th chapter, um, the 24th, the 22nd verse, it says, it is written, Abraham had two sons, one by a um, maid and the other by a free woman. But he who was of the woman was born after the flesh. All right, but he was of the free woman was by promise. Um, which things are an allegory for these two covenants. So 
Abraham, his wife, Sarah, and his concubine, as we would say, um, who was Hagar, is a story of allegory. It was talking about Israel. It was talking about, which is Jacob. Um, it was talking about Ishmael, which is the so-called Arabians. That means all of that is an allegory. Now, very important because we go to the Holy Quran, it says the exact same thing. He it is who has sent them down through the books. And his verse is based and fundamentally or established leaders. They are the foundation of the book. Others are allegorical. But those in whose heart is perversity follow the parts that are allegorical, seeking discord and searching for his hidden meanings. But no one knows its hidden meanings except a lot. All right? Now, once you become in the gap, all right, just to tell you the one on one, simply tell you that Allah is where? In man. So that means Allah is your higher self, the mother of virtues. So therefore, it says that those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, we will need the book, the whole of it is from our Lord. And none will grasp the message except men of understanding. All right? Now, if you look up allegory in Western Dictionary, it says symbolic work, the work in which the characters and events are to be understood and represents other things and symbolically expressing a deeper, often spiritual, moral, or political meaning. Symbolic expression of meanings and stories, the symbolic expression of deeper meanings through the stories and scenes acted out by humans, animals, or mythical characters. Mythical characters. In general, um, it says allegory is considered as a literary or uh, artistic genre. Now look. Mary wants to get you It says, allegory, a short moral story, often with animal characters. A visible symbol representing a national idea. An expressive style that uses what? Fictional characters and events to describe some subjects by subjective resemblance and extended, an extended metaphor. So, an allegory means a what? A fictitious character and events. So when you read the Bible, that's what you read. It. <laughs> and the Bible told you that, and the Quran told you that. And the Quran is 73% of the Bible. The other 27% comes from the Apocrypha and the books of uh, what's called the um, the lost books of the Bible and forgot the books of Peter and the Zoroastrian texts. That's where the rest of the information in the Quran comes from outside of the Bible, which is 73% of the Bible. In other words, the same stories that's in the Bible is in the Quran. And the stories in the Bible was out of work, meaning that the stories in the Quran, which is showing you, is what? Allegorical. Because the word allegory means fictitious characters and events. Yes. Back in back. 1699 pages. Man, I came up on the Dr. York. He's a master teacher. He's all our teachers. Right, you gotta understand is that what Dr. York did. Uh-huh. Right, what Dr. York did was make everything black so that the psychology would be black for us again. In other words, to make you realize that it's talking about you. That all of this information about this show you the smart people and told you that the mentality, that means everything that we can see, touch, taste, and smell. All the symbols, civilization, everything came from their mental archetype billions of years ago. That means everything that's going on right now was already in their templates. Now, you don't understand what I'm saying is that when a child is physically born, there is an Ethereum counterpart to that child before it manifests in the flesh. And scientists have taken a, a, a picture of the child Three months, actually, uh, before the so-called cellular division takes place, they did this with what's called the Korean camera, in which they seen the actual outline of the child already as a fetus inside the womb before the child even came into full manifestation from an embryonic state into a fetus. When they seen it at the embryonic state, they seen the child already as the size of the fetus already. All right? I wish I had a picture for you. 
I don't have it right now. And anybody who call me, I can get you the picture. Now I can send my book. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Please find the phone. Oh, oh, okay. Let me hold it right quick down. Help me on. Hold the mic. Okay. Right here. Thank you. All right. Here it is, right here. This is the image of the fetus before the physical manifestation, the physical man manifestation of the child. I'm going to pass the around and go to read it. This is what it says. The image on the left is of a three-month-year-old fetus called a quantum ram, or a photo from the quantum field was created while the pregnant woman was hundreds of miles away. The image came from excessive information available in only one drop of her blood. The image on the right called a quantum gram or hologram of the quantum field shows a 3D characteristics of the fetus. The detail of this provocative image technique plus many more compelling Images are only available in a strong woman, which is called Unshadowed the Secrets of the Soul, which is a book. So, I show you the picture here. Okay? So, you did exist prior to the physical manifestation of your physical body, and they have proof of this. Okay? I want y'all to understand because what they call quantum gram or the hologram, what does a hologram mean in order to exist? Damn, I got some smart people up here. Right. 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 So if your physical body is a hologram, what do you need in order to extend your life? Life. Damn, come on. Right here. First Corinthians 3.16. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone would be the temple of God, God would be strength. The temple of God is holy which to be you all. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were born out of Christ. The Christ was the explosion of a star in which that white became dead so that you could be born. See, the star we died for you. Ain't no goddamn Jesus died for you. The star, the star up in the sky, the goddamn supernova died for you to give you life. No goddamn white man. Go back, please. Yeah, that's 90% Stardust. Yeah, that's 90% Stardust, exactly. My wife was on it. There you go. Alright? Right here, go back. Let me do that right here. Let me do that last one. So, 2 Corinthians 6, 16, 18. For you are the temple of the living God. See, now you're living. Now you're the living God. You're the temple of the living God. For the soul already died for you. Now, if you want to say the soul is Jesus, and that's yes, I mean, Sirius. <laughs> because your body came from the implosion of the star, Sirius B. That's, what, that's how you got here. You are the Sirius. The no ones already told you that. That you are the Sirius. All right? You are the no ones, or I think I take the path of Ogo. It depends on you. All right? Ogo is set within the no line belief system. No more is here rule. Lower nature, higher nature. Lower self, higher self. Lower mind, higher mind. You pick. <laughs> right, so here. First, no, go back. Please go back. I'm sorry. Because I got to show them something right quick. I'm sorry. Where is God at? Look in the first one. You see the Spirit of God, where does it dwell at? In you. Okay, come down here. Where does the Holy Spirit dwell at? In you. Okay. Come down here. What does it say? God say. He said, for the temple of the living God, and God has said, I will dwell here. In them. Oh, okay. Um, that's completely opposite of Christianity, it's all in Judaism. And it's in the book. Wow. Because they got you think that God is something outside yourself. Continue on. I ain't said it's in the book. Yeah, I ain't write that shit. <laughs> Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, right? 
And then what he says, for well, you are worthy of Christ and for glorify God where? In your body. Huh? In your body. So then do you need a church, a temple, a mosque? You need that? You do that for fellowship? But do you really need that? Okay. No, what you need is some Qigong and some Tai Chi. God damn, that's right! <laughs> <laughs> that's right! <laughs> Qigong and Tai Chi. That's, that's what, you what you need. Because that will give you the good smell and bring the light down even more so you intensify and amplify the rays in which that is coming down from the sun. Do you know that 300,000 tons of storm dust energy falls to the planet Earth daily? Once again, 300,000 tons of stardust energy pours to the planet Earth daily. In the form of waves in which that once you observe, it becomes particles, as Brother Ambu said. So these particles, which were, until you detected it, was waves. But 300,000 tons of this material comes to the planet Earth. You as a melanated being, I showed you that you are able to absorb what? Right. So here, 2 Corinthians 13, 5. What it says, do you not know yourself? Hold up, do you not know yourself? Yourself. That who is where? Jesus Christ. Is where? In you. Right, Hold up, see? See, this is in the Christian Bible. I can write this. There's something they've been missing the whole time. See, that's why they don't never want you to read these verses. So I'm an man telling that I see is the power of the Holy Trinity of what you just said. Right. Your highest self. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that black folks, Africans, so I'm saying, I want you to show them that God is in you. Right. And as a little boy, so it's how people are. Right. But truthfully, we don't see ourselves as Right. Well, right. Remember they took your two senses. Right. They took your sight and your hearing. Right. I'm just saying, in this day and time, everything that you see is dealing with the manifestation of the spirit of Christ. As well as you understanding that you are the example of those three principles of the Holy Trinity, which is within you right now. So that's good at how the Salasi is, however, what are you? You have the same capability, and that's the whole point of that. That's the whole point. Is that you have the ability in order to activate these higher senses, these higher chakras, which is your throat, your third eye, and your crown. That's the Holy Trinity. See, now I just showed you where they exist in you. That is your throat chakra. That's why it says Jesus was the word made flesh. How do you say a word? Where it comes from? Through your throat. He's also, Jesus is called the light of the world. Go to Mark, your, uh, go to Matthews 6.22. It says, when your eye be single, your whole body will be filled with the light. I didn't write that either. All right? And then it tells you that your Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. This is the kingdom right here. Your dome in peace. And that's what they call this head. They call it the dome piece. So that's the king dome. Yes, sir. Yes. The atom, in which has fully released all this energy in order to form physical manifestation. All right, so here we have solar flare activity. We are in solar flare 24 right now. This is why the weather is going so crazy and why the European had to drop so many damn chemtrails mm -hmm. and use the harpsies in order to keep it out of cool, you know, or keep it out of cold, snowy, gray, cave-like, bingo. Because right now, actually, even that we're going through this solar flare activity, these solar flares are erupting and bombarding the planet Earth right now as we speak. And so, if it wasn't for the chemtrails, now what's in chemtrails? Chemtrails have what is called aluminum in it, barium, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, and bacterial spores. Mm -hmm. Now, when you hold a piece of aluminum up to the sun, what does it do? Reflect. Reflects. So if you spray the whole sky with chemtrails, and as they spread apart, 
They form a kingdom in which that blocks out what? Now, what does the sun do for us based on our melanin sin? Strengthen us. It charges you. Mm -hmm. You get your charge. So what are they trying to do? Discharge. They're trying to discharge. See, as you learn the principle of how to discharge their debt, right, from the private to the public side, what they're doing is trying to discharge your connection to the ancestors and to the universal forces on the spiritual side. Because the third eye is the eye which that links your spirit is a spiritual antenna which that links you to your ancestors. Do you know that when you leave your physical body based on the unquote written by the Lord of Amen, he states that the ionic sphere, which is only 65 to 3,000 miles up in the sky, is where the ancestors go to after they leave the physical body. Guess what the heart system does? It disrupts the ionic sphere. So they are purposely trying to discharge or disconnect or detach you from your spiritual connection, your ancestors. But see what they fail to realize is that even if you disrupt up there, they're still in here. So guess what they create? GMO food. Mm -hmm. Genetically modified organisms. Organism means something is living. And what is it going inside of you if it's genetically altering something? Obviously, it's altering what we call your genes, right? Because that's the word, GMO. Your genes are being altered by these living organisms in the food. That means that they are trying to reinsert their message codes in your DNA. White women with butts. Oh, yeah, that shit, that came through olive oil. Uh, uh, when they took olive oil and uh, uh, vegetable oil and um, coconut oil, you peanut oil, and all those oils out of the food, and just put in soybean oil, which has high amounts of estrogen. All of a sudden, within the last 15 years, you've been seeing the white women with asses. And they ain't doing anything to knowledge that is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, as the sun rays come off, it bombards the planet Earth through the north and the south pole areas, which is the magnetic poles. Remember, it's the magnetic poles. You have magnetic poles. Go to the next. Yes. Yeah, the inner earth is, there's, there's a sun that's um, over 600 to 6,000 miles uh, wide. Uh, the inner sun, which is basically just like the Kundalini for yourself. So 6,000 miles, just like the Kundalini in your body is 6,000 degrees. And as it comes up through the body, it, when it comes here to the top of the head, and it produces that sun disk that is 2 million degrees. That is equivalent to the same thing as on the surface of the sun. On the sun, it's 6,000 6, degrees on the chromosphere. But as the ejections are being cast off, it can go up to 2 million degrees. So this is showing you the same way of an upswelling of energy. Within you, that's the Kundalini, because it's called the serpentine fire. For a certain team fire. Hold on. Alright. Who was born before 1977? Come on, raise your hands. Alright. Alright. Alright, that means at least half of you heard about Earth, Wind, and Fire. Right? The music is the water. Alright? That's why Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. The water was the music. Alright? That was the wave. So the four elements. Well, on the 1977 album called All in All, the most popular song of the album was called Serpentine Fire. So the Serpentine Fire is what they was talking about. Matter of fact, when I started teaching about this, actually about 10 years ago, um, actually I learned to teach about that, but 10 years ago, um, I guess the members of Earth Under Fire must have got my videotapes. And on MySpace, they started writing me and telling me thank you for you know, continuing the information and getting this information out. All right, because I will always mention them in, you know, in my lectures. Because this is, you know, this is the symbology to what actually took place. So, here we have the aurora borealis. As the rays come in, it looks just like what? The rainbow, right? Yeah. All right, so you have these angels coming in, this light coming in from the north and the south pole. Now, you got a north and south pole, continue on. This is your north and south pole. The top of your head is north. In between your legs, within the mid, it's called the perineum. The million dollar spot, you're going to attempt to create yoga, or what's called a thyroid sex syndrome. Within the, within the woman, 
It is um, an inch and a half to three inches inside of the vaginal wound called the G spot. All right, the G spot, the God spot, the guided spot. So right here, this is showing you the energies as it comes in through the north and south pole, the magnetic fields of your body. This is called your aura or your halat or your halo. All right, in which that extends around the body. Normally, it's only extends three feet outside of the human body. However, through special meditations called pranic healing, which I'm gonna get to, you can actually extend it to 15 feet and more. Now, once you magnetize your aura in that way and actually expand your aura, what happens is that you magnetize your personality and people are drawn to you. They are attracted to you, okay? Based on that person. That means you also have the ability to, to attract whatever you want from the universe because the universe is above you. The secret is clear with that, but what the secret did not teach you was the science of breath. Because the, the breath is what? It's the medium in the human body on which that brings things from on high to the physical realm. The breath does that. And if you can use your breath, what happens is that it takes you into different states of consciousness. I'll give you a good example. The average person breathes 18 breaths a minute. If you cut that 18 to 9, and then 7.5, 6, 4.5, 3 to 1 breath, you actually go from interpersonal consciousness, intrapersonal consciousness, life consciousness, subconsciousness, super consciousness, uh, mag uh, magnetic consciousness, and infinite consciousness. So now you can went from the threshold of the beast breath, which is 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 18, which is the average breath for everyone on this planet. That means, the reason why we call it the beast breath because it only attaches you to the reptilian portion of the brain. That's it. So if you are operating at the reptilian portion of the brain, you are a beast. You have no higher conscience because everything is based on fight and flight. Everything is based on me, myself, and I. I got mine. Go get yours. There is no type of sharing both for personal and reptilian brain. This is the majority of the Europeans that have because 60 to 80 percent of them have calcified pineal glands. And if the energy did hit that calcified pineal gland, they stand the chest spontaneous mankind combusting. This is why the yogi teachers tell them to be careful about raising the kundalini. I wasn't talking about you because you're the serpent race. You can raise that joint through a dance, through a car to the machine. Yeah, of course. Oh, what? You know, I'm a clown, but I'm serious. <laughs> but here, this is Rob, right? And as you see, Rob Reyes is coming to where? The hand of the woman. And what do the little woman do? She has her hands up in the praise position, which is the cop, right? Which means spirit. What is spirit? Spirit is the breath. Now look, what is being activated on top of our head? The pineal gland. I didn't draw this. He's got this lifetime. Okay, I didn't draw this. But look, they show you where Ra really, as you are getting concentrated from outside by Ra, there is another Ra which is taking place at, and you see? Where's that at? In between the eyes. Bingo. The first eye. So here, it's telling you how the external sun activates the what? Internal sun, which is the soul. The chorus in French philosophy tells us that this pineal gland is the seat of the soul. The ancient Egyptians tell you that that is our soul on the throne, which is named Arset. Arset, name in Metuneta, means throne. Arsa, who knows the law of perfect black, symbolizes the subconscious mind, the underworld, sits on the throne of Arset, which is talking about the pineal gland. This is why the woman is showing because that's the throne that our soul sits upon, which is talking about the activation of the 
soul in the pineal gland. And the only way that the soul can wake up fully, because it is half asleep right now within most of us, until you do a spiritual work and resurrect the Kundalini in you. And once the Kundalini serpentine fire comes up, it sparks the pineal gland and awaken it, and guess what? It transforms from a saw who's known as the Lord of the Perfect Black to become Heru. The awakened one. That's what the word Heru means, to awaken. Just like Buddha means to become enlightened. The word Buddha comes from the word Pita. Go to Jeremiah's books, Ancient Egypt, the Letter of the World, or the Jeremiah Lectures. He states in them that the word Buddha stems from the word Puta, or Buddha, or Puta. And Puta was the father of the Netherlands. He was the father of all the gods and goddesses. Right? So this is symbolic to the father who art in heaven externally, as you see here, and as you see, um, a little faggotized white Jesus right here, is, is he's, he's getting those rays of the sun, right? Because see, that's his father who art in heaven. See, this is the same thing that is shown on the left hand side of Akhenaten right. giving praise to Atan, which is the sun disc, in which he receiving the rays of the sun. And if you look of the rays, the rays actually have unks and hands coming down in which that is blessing him. Same thing that you've seen on the glyph before with the sun Ra rays coming and touching down on the head of the woman with the activated pineal gland, symbolically, yes, continue on. So here, we have the energy transfer. It's how energy transfer from on high, as we say, to you. You have Luciferus, and you have lots of oxaluciferin, all right, which is what is needed to energy transfer. So here, what does oxaluciferin and luciferus produce within you, which is in the excited state? It produces light. This is the reason why Masons, as Albert Pike told you with their morals of dogma, that they worship Lucifer. Lucifer is nothing but the Hebrew form of the archangel Uriel. Go and look it up. And guess what? Uriel was the father over hell and over what? In which that Jesus in your Bible, after he died, right? For three days and three nights, he went into the depths of hell and got the keys from Lucifer, right? Over what? Death and over hell. So now, what this is talking about is your resurrection. Lucifer is here. Christ is here. So through the resurrection of that people in the region, you transform from Lucifer to Christ. That is nothing more than the polarity of your spinal column. Right here at the base of the spine is Lucifer. Right here at the top of the head is Christ. Or Melchizedek. Or the Archangel Michael. There's seven Archangels that's mentioned in the book of Revelations. Uriel, Samuel, Gideel, Raphael, Azarel, Gabriel, and Michael. Those are known as the seven Elohim. Those are known as the seven creative principles, or creative life um, principles. These are nothing more than your looking glands, your chakras. That's it. And guess what? In the book of Revelation, they tell you, because they tell you to learn how to open your what? Seven seals. Learn how to open your seven seals. How do you open your seven seals? Well, the Ampu broke down earlier about how the chakras must be in perfect alignment for your aura to be what? Aligned as well as also expanded perfectly. In other words, to be magnetized. Hence the law of attraction. So, here you have direct cosmic energy coming down at the crown, sunlight coming down at the third eye, then you have your breath, in which that causes the energy to be stored within three different areas of your body. In Qigong, we call them the dancing ends. You have your lower dancing end, your mid dancing end, 
and your upper dance yet. The Christians refer to in the book of Acts as the upper room. <laughs> when Jesus breathed on his disciples and they received the Holy Spirit. They don't know that it's the third eye. Cosmic energy. Full spectrum of energy assimilation. Look at being pulled up through the feet. It's electromagnetic energy. So hence, by you pulling energy up from the ground, you magnetize and you draw energy down, it magnetizes your auric field. That's why you shock people on a road or something. Bingo. But that's static electricity. All right? Static electricity. That's how you, that's how, right? You want to put on the little rug? I want to just, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. I might still swap you. But anyway, um, <laughs> but here, here uh, we have uh, the head somebody to Aries, which actually within the Age Command of Texas, actually Amen. Amen had the ram tank, which is the same symbol as what? It's the same symbol as, as, as Aries. Aries is the ram. Alright? Amen also is the ram, right? So Taurus is a bull. Well, Apis is also a bull, which is actually a saw. Gemini, right, is two twins. Well, actually, originally that was all saw and all set. All right? Then because of the battle between Heru and Set, it became the two brothers. All right? Because, you know, Heru was the incarnation of his father, or saw. Cancer is a crab, but originally it was uh, Kepra, all right, which is the dumb beetle. Right? Then you have um, Leo, which of course is a lion, but the symbol for a lion with the ancient comedic text is Atum. Atum. Then you have Virgo, which is the virgin, and of course the virgin is actually Osset. Okay? Who, who her name, guess what? Osset's name um, on some of the skills that they have found, which my wife and I seen in the British Museum, her name is Mary. But it was spelled M E R I. So, of course, the Catholic Church who knew this, but they got the religions out of ancient Egypt, they put a false prophet, hence a false uh, of Christ, as we would call, as refer to him as, you know what I'm saying, as the so called vigor of Christ. That's who this Pope is. He, he claimed to be the Christ until the Christ shows up. You are the Christ. So until you reawaken back to who, um, who you are and put an end to this nonsense which has taken place in this plan. So here, Libra is next, and Libra is Maya, the scales of balance. Because what is Libra? The scale of the balance. Same symbol. That's how you know that they didn't change anything. It's the same information coming from off the off, off the uh, walls of Hedheru, the temple of Hedheru in Ninjara. You go to um to Giza Plateau, go to the temple of Hedheru. Look up at the top of the ceiling, you can see the circle of life called the wheel of life, or called the circle um, of the animals, all right? Which is called, hence the word zodiac. The word zodiac um, is that for animal. Right? Zoo, exactly. So hence, um, Scorpio, genitalia, the Scorpio um, is a scorpion, but it has three symbols. A scorpion is not just a scorpion, it's also a snake and it's also an eagle. Now, the symbol for Scorpio is called Sarket. So, Sarket, this is the name of the, um, who, who's in, um, um, Lion King. No, not Lion King. Uh, um, um, the one that Rock played in, he was the court Scorpion King. He actually was Zarket. Okay, it's a cat. But that's the symbol of Scorpio. Sagittarius, um, of course, is um, a half man slash, you know, horse or, you know, or fish, depending on which symbol that you see. All right? Um, well, depends. But mostly it's the horse. But Sagittarius is shoe. Right? Shoe. S H U. All right? Um, then you have Capricorn, which is. Um, the goat, and this is actually you get Bach mixed symbol from, you know what I'm saying? You can actually turn off Capricorn and the ruling influence over Capricorn. Um, and the planet is um, Saturn, and Saturn is where you get the word Satan from. But this is how they correlate 
um, Bothman and Sam, um, um, Satan, when it's all talking about Capricorn, all right? That's what they're talking about. Um, then you have Aquarius, in which that, um, yeah, the Capricorn is, um, I didn't say the Egyptian, um, the Egyptian name, did it, or Egyptian name. Um, um, Capricorn is um, um, the goal of Mendes, Mendes. Aquarius is Heru. Right now, we're going into the, um, the age of Heru or the age of Aquarius. If you go to Luke um, 22.10, in Luke 22.10 of the Bible, Jesus is asked by his disciples, well, whom shall we say that is, um, um, that is sending us in the sense of going out to the world? And he said, and, and they asked, well, how will we know that it's time? Jesus says, well, you will follow a man into his house who has a picture of water. I didn't write that either. Now, who's the man with the picture of water? That is Aquarius. And that is also the symbol of Heru, which symbolizes the, the, um, the water, symbolizes truth. All right? Then you have Pisces, which is the symbol of Sebek. All right, Sebek, which is the crocodile deity. So before it was a fish, it was a crocodile. All right, so continue on. All right, um, here we have Gahi Bahi, uh, which is the symbol of, um, of the Hebrew scripts here. Um, God means fire, which is Ra, or Ray. Um, he means water, loops. Ba means air, Teth loops. Um, he, which is actually moisture. Um, he represents earth, Gan. Um, it comes down to number 26. Um, number 26 is very important because 2 plus 6 is 8. And you have at the base of your spine, 8 divided cells of mitosis. And every 7 years, your whole body changes cellular structure over the 7 years. That means you're a new person every 7 years. However, these 8 cells at the base of your spine never change your whole entire life. Continue on. So here you have the symbols come in the formation of man, in which that Yahi Bahi actually is nothing more than your DNA. And there's four, right here, four amino acids, just like those four letters of the Tetragrammaton. Here you have arginine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. So these are the four basic amino acids in which they have formed your physical body into existence. Hence, you was created by Yahweh. But guess what? That's nothing but your DNA. Which is your ancestors. So when you call them on Yahweh, you call them your ancestors. <laughs> you don't believe me? Here it is. The same way in which that your DNA is elliptical is the exact same way in which that, according to the Yogans, the star constellation Sirius A and Sirius B travel around each other in the elliptical path. And the Dogon say that you came from there. The reason why they say that you came from there is because Sirius A and Sirius B travel around each other in that elliptical pattern, which is identical to your DNA as it wraps around each other in an elliptical pattern. All right, so in geometria, atom numeral um, value is 46. That's no coincidence because if you go to Genesis, the fifth chapter, it tells you that. Male and female, he named them both Adam. That's in Genesis the fifth chapter. But what does that mean? Male and female, he named them both Adam. So actually, Eve, which symbolizes evolution, the evolution of subatomic particles to atomic particles to molecular particles to cellular particles to blood to tissues, muscles, flesh. That was the evolution. You did that in the world. That's what Eve was. That's why Eve is about to Eve it, or what is called the triple stage darkness, which is when you was in your mother's womb for three months, the first three months, the second three months, the third three months, which three times three comes to nine. Forty weeks, as in 40 weeks as Noah, it rained 40 days and 40 nights. It was about to the pregnancy of 40, what? Well, 40 years was the Israel's in the desert. But that was came from the story of just like Jesus battled with Satan for 40 days and 40 nights. That was to conquer his lower self. Now, when we talk about the pregnancy of the woman, this is the place in which that happens at, right? Which is the woman or the uterus. 
of the abdominal area, which is the navel, right? You have a belly button because that's where it was attached to your mother, right? Where you receive communication from your mother was through the umbilical cord. How you receive nutrients, minerals, vitamins from your mother was through the umbilical cord, right or wrong. And you was inside of water for 40 weeks, which is somebody to Noah on that ark. This is the ark for 40 days and 40 nights. It is all symbolic to the abdominal area. Earth, water, fire, air, sound, light, thought. Once again, earth, Adam, water, Noah, solar plexus, which is fire. Abraham, from the land of Ur. Ur means fire. I didn't write the book, so I'm just telling you the codes. Right? Air, or what's between the lungs? Is the heart. The word David means what? Love. Love. See, these are allegorical stories that I showed you in the beginning to make you understand that this is talking about your physical body. But let's continue on. Moses. Let my the throat. Let my people go. Oh, Lord, I can't speak eloquently enough. Don't you see my brother Aaron? Next thing you know, the niggas in front of the Pharaoh talking about let my people go. All right. <laughs> he said, well, I have to throw chocolate. Your inability to express yourself at one point in time. Now you finally can. Once you get some type of opposition. You can sit up for yourself then, can't you? Okay. Jesus, the light of the world. Somebody to the third eye. Once again, Matthew, 6th chapter, 27th verse, tells you that when your eye is seen, your whole body will be filled with light. Light of the world. Third eye. Then, Muhammad is the crown. Muhammad is known within Islam as being the last seal of the prophets. How many seals do you have in the book of Revelation? Seven seals. How many did I just do? Seven. It's Seven. Seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> because this is all something about you. Continue on. All right. Continue on. All right, right here, we went over the temple of man and how God was in that temple. There's a book by... Um, Saul and the of the Lubitz, and we said it's called the Temple of Man and also the Temple of Amen. But in the book, Ancient Mysteries and Modern Masonry, Charge Bell, 33 degrees, says that this is true. The deification or epipotesis, it says man is like God in that he becomes a God. This is what true Masonry teaches. Right? The Temple of Hebu, the Temple of Hebu, which is an uh, um, actual temple, actually is mimic off the human body. The Mosaic temple of the Old Testament is mimic off the human body. Continue on. You have the outer gate, you have the holy place, and you have the holy of holies. Continue on. Continue on. All right, so here, this is an example of what we was talking about, all right? And read down at the bottom. It's the electromagnetic energy between plants that influences the electromagnetic energy within the human body. Uh-oh. Since planet Earth resides in the zodiac, then you are also subject to the celestial cycles of the zodiac. Therefore, when you start to burn cycles in these heavenly bodies, which is Elohim, can you then benefit from the effects and truly know thyself? Continue on. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Luke 22, 10, Jesus replied, As you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into his house. Now we have come out the age of Pisces, and now we have entered to the age of what? Aquarius. Well, Aquarius. Now we follow the man with a pitcher of water into his house. You get this? So now that means water is being poured for. The water symbolizes truth, and it also symbolizes those particles that we've been talking about. Right. Also, knowledge. That's all this information is out there. The internet had to, what is going on, the internet is an example of what is taking place or has taken place upon this planet with information being 
how clear that the way that it is. So we can have an example. We learn Qigong Tai Chi. We learn what's called the microcosmic orbit technique. And we teach you to learn how to absorb into your dance game, which is your language chakra, about an inch or two below, and learn how to store energy coming from the cosmos inside your body. You will feel a warmness sensation in your belly when you do so. You will also feel it in your heart once you put it in. You also can feel it in your third eye once you store it. Those are the three places that you learn how to store energy. Your navel, your heart, your third eye. The three places. Remember that. Those are three games again. Very important. Continue. The 33 vertebrates, which symbolize the status rights. There's 33 degrees. Jesus died at the age of 33. All right? Um, um, so called Alexander, the so called great, died at the age of 33. All right? Continue. 33 vertebrates, and you will notice how the nerves come out. Go to the next one. You will notice how the nerves come out and actually go to the particular organs of the body. So the nerves are attached to each organ and endocrine gland in your body. That's how energy or electromagnetism is transferred from the brain to the body. All right? So here it says, thy rod and thy staff shall come you. You didn't know what you were talking about when you realized this as a child for those big Bible prophets and Christian born, you know. If you went to a holy so you know the Tim Curry song. You know that joint. Don't play. Don't play. But this is what you was talking about. Thy rod and thy staff. Is that talking about the spinal column? That's the staff or thy rod. It's talking about the government vessel and the conceptual vessel. Those are the two ingredients in which that is activated once you know how to send energy through your body to rejuvenate yourself. So once you absorb the light, you are able now to circulate it. And hence, you know about this, so that the nerves, so as you circulate this energy through the nerves, it goes to all your organs. Hence, rejuvenating you, revitalizing you. Okay, you get this? Here's an example of what I'm talking about. You have nerves in the spine. 31 plus 2 nerves, hence 33 nerves. So not only do you have 33 vertebrae, you have 33 nerves. And 33 plus 33 is what? How many books do you have in your body? 66. Hmm. The reason why you have 66 books in your body is because King James was the grand master of the Lodge of England. And he chose the man to edit the Bible, who was known as Francis Bacon, who was actually called William Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. And you don't believe go to Psalms 46 and count 46 words down and count from Shalom 46 words up and you see the word shake and spirit. And he was the 40, he was 46 years old at the time when he edited the Bible, which started in 1609 and they finished in 1611. And not only that, he was part of a council of called the Shakespearean Council in which that he made up at this 46 man. Here's all the signs of what you mastered before. Uh, right here, as you see, can ruin set. The middle pillar, which is spoken of with the Mason, is actually talking about your spinal power. This symbolizes Boaz and Jacin within the Mason. But that's what can rule in the set of the Lord's Avenger King. So, here you have, or Tim already to now, and here you have, coming up, you have the knot there, in which that symbolizes the tie, which you know as summer tie which is the union of the two lands. What's the two lands again? Lower self, higher self. So this symbolizes the merge of the union. The word yoga means union. The word religion means union. So what religion and yoga is supposed to do is unify you. It is that going on? You know what we are? 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 You So here, the 12th disciple is nothing more than um, mentioned within Revelation, the 12th chapter, which is about the crown of his head, has 12 stars. Those 12 stars is actually talking about the 12 pair of cleaning nerves, 
what you are enlightened with the Kundalini as it comes up and spark that continue on. All right, you know you have seven major endocrine glands. This is what it says. Melanin is the perfect super uh, absorber of light and all energy frequencies. All right, you understand that continue on. All right, so here, um, in the ancient Kemetic teachings, you understand that you have your cock, which is the physical body, and this is where the word cat comes from. And the reason why they say cat has nine lives is because you have how many bodies? Nine. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> so you're the cat. That's why the lion on the use of that toe, right? It's called the snakes. Which symbolizes um, reptilians, which is the what? The constellation of Leo. Uh oh. The privileged shit you got? Okay. <laughs> anyway, cut, go back. Let's go through it. You've got cotton, which is the physical your body, the last your body, the shepherd, which is life force, which is kundalini, and in the heart and desires. Uh, body, emotional body, high, astral body. Sabu, the spiritual, the mental body. The cool or the aku, the cognitive body. The rain, the physical, or the personal student body, which is your main, the kind of um, shadow body, and the ba, the soul body. Two out of the seven, all right, which is the shekel and the rain, those two symbolizes um, what we would call the activation of. When someone calls your name, you feel the frequency. That's why you turn, or like if you was in class as a kid, and you did something, something crazy, something crazy, and the teacher called your name, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like you, get ready, you already know it's getting ready to come. The boom is getting ready to come down on you. It's the same thing. The ring symbolizes your name, but it's actually your personal body. Um, the shekel is your life force, all right? And actually that comes through by the way of your ancestors, being that you are concentration of seven generations on the mother's side and seven generations on the father's side. That is our saw. We see how that our saw was cut into 14 pieces. Those 14 pieces come out your ancestry, which had concentrated you right here, right now in the physical manifestation. All right, now we have shoe. Shoe means emptiness and he who raises up. So it's telling you that the breath raises up the kundalini. Because right here, it says shoe Means the personification, he's the personification of air. This is why Jesus' name in Hebrew is what? Yeshua. Say it again. Yeshua. 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 So Shu is the ancient deity for the personification of air. So hence you know why now in the book of John that Jesus' name is what? Right? And also his title is the word. Now, let's make this even more simple. What's the sound you make when you sing this? A shoe. You say bless you, You say bless you, it's all sound, it's all from letters. The shoe. Say it again, what's the sound? Shoe. A shoe. Now, now, hold up. Now, any of you go to season classes when you're on the basis? Anybody had training in season? So how the hell do you always make the same damn sound? On the <laughs> they, well, right, they, right. You know, that's because they're trying to stop it. Instead of just allowing for it, you know, allowing for them to do they trying to stop the steam. You can't stop that. You know what I'm saying? It'll come out something like her. You know, but if you just let it out, normally it's that's you. Right? Yes, your heart so allegedly stops beating as you see. That's the reason why we say bless you or the whole title or whatever you want to say. Or better car within Arabic is because help start that back again, you know what I'm saying? Because you understood that God was within you. And you understood that a person being three feet inside of your order field can influence you. Because there's a transference of energy and thought and sound. Alright? So shoe symbolizing and what what depiction did they give you of shoe? The breath. It's a black man. This is why in the book of Revelations just had feet of what? Bronze. Burnt in the oven. He had eyes of flames of fire. He had hair, hair of wool. Right. Now this is this, this is the depiction that they give you on the walls of shoe. There's another picture of shoe in which that looks just like the depiction in which they gave you the book of Revelation. Because they understood that when Orion's Pesos went to go study under the ancient Egyptians, because his family at the time was called the Ptolemy family, but the Ptolemies. They was ruling Egypt at that time, and Orion's Piso, the Pisos, went 
to do his research here and study, and he came back with a collection of books in which he got from off the walls and temples, in which had become known now as the New Testament. Uh oh, too close. So right here, that shoe up. Alright, so shoe, and you see in between, and shoe means savior. Alright? Also, Yahushua, right? Which means Lord who is salvation. This is why John 14 said, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Because the only way you can see the Father, which are in heaven, which is to the pioneer land where the soul is embedded in, and it's your soul, your Father, who are in heaven, is by resurrecting the Kukulini through the breath. The breath is the medium between the lower self and the higher self. That's why I showed you the picture of him doing set. It's because the only way in order to bring them to a union is by breath. Stop it, breathe. Continue. So breathing, as you know, affects the whole body, it affects the nervous system, the heart, the digestive system, muscle sleep, energy, levels, concentration, memory, and much more. We can result to our body system for waste removal. 70% of waste produced in the body is supposed to be removed by breathing. Clean in the skin, 10 by kidneys and digestive system. So see, most of you think that if you have a good shit, a good uh, piss, that all of a sudden you eat everything that you need to do? No, 70% is supposed to come by breathing. And most of you are shallow breathers, so that's the reason why we have so much disease on this planet. Because you have not been taught how to breathe deeply and longly to eliminate the waste and out of your cellular structure. Continue. Now, I spoke about how breathing makes you go to different states of consciousness. You have gamma, which is um, active thought, beta. Um, alert, working, also relaxing, and reflecting, fading, drowsy, drowsy, meditating, delta, sleeping, dreaming. All right? Continue on. These are the sensations of consciousness. You have intervals of consciousness, intravertus of consciousness, like consciousness, self consciousness, two consciousness, like consciousness, and infinite like consciousness. I said this a little bit earlier, but this correlates to psychology. When you take psychology class, it's typically the same thing, but they call it gamma, beginning, beta, and beta, alpha, delta, beta. Delta data. But they don't tell you the key is by breathing. Continue. So, that person, as I say, 18 breaths a minute activates the reptilian portion of the brain. So everything is fight or flight. Nine breaths. The limbic brain. 7.5 breaths. The cerebral is activated. Six breaths. The middle of the nine is activated. 4.5 breaths. The pituitary gland. Three breaths. The pineal gland. One breath. The whole brain. Who seen limitless? Mm -hmm. The average person only uses 10 to 20% of their brain. The other 90, 80% is dormant. How do you tap into it? I just told you. Lower your breath. Stop breathing so damn fast. All right? Each breath taps you into Based on the time in which that you breathe, taps you into one of the levels. The skin, the tissue muscles, your blood, hormone, cellular, molecular, atomic, and subatomic particles. If you learn infinite breath, which is one breath a minute, as I just showed you, and you did it for 72 minutes, you can tap into your subatomic body. Now, I just showed you the law of attraction. Learn how to breathe and you can have everything you want because right here, just to show it to you, my brother, you know what I'm saying, Morpheus, uh, 8 by 10, I look like him. Yeah. But right here, <laughs> right here, he holds up a battery. Yeah, I know, I know, I always get everybody like that, right? But anyway, this is the battery. And he holds this up in the movie Matrix, right? First one, and he tells Neo, Neo, this is all we are today. Now, it's true that your physical body is a battery. Remember, we showed you that melanin is able to what? Encapsulate lights and frequencies and sound. So you are a battery, and the only way to charge it, check this out. Look right here. It says a true, you are a battery. A battery needs to be what? Alkaline. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
Check this out. So when the battery is alive, the output in the electrical charge is upload. But when it is dead, when the battery is dead, it is what? Acidic. Our bodies is about 25% acidic and 75% alkaline. So it is recommended that we consume roughly 25% acidic food and 75% alkaline food. And because our bodies are 75% water and 25% mass, which is earth. When the body is too acidic, you feel ill, sick, suffering from illness and disease. Alkaline foods or electrical foods is what Dr. Singh has been telling you the whole time. Right? So, what's the highest form of alkaline foods? Are melons, honeydews, lemons, limes, and particular key limes. They can go as high as 9 to 11 pH, which is power hydrogen. Alright? So, these are the most alkaline foods, fruits, vegetables, and so on. So, here we have one of the key. Um, to break blackness. This right here is very important to get this book by Carol Barnes. So here, another thing, when you view it as a battery that is partially charged, because it can always receive the charge, and can always accept an electrical charge. So when it's sunlight or other energies come in contact with the melanin battery, it increases the charge of the battery to a certain degree. When the energy is captured, the battery has more energy to use in the body. Now check this out, it's important. Look right here. These molecular melody combinations eat light in order to what? Maintain, expand, and evolve matter. The more highly evolved a species, the more complex its biological cap cap capacity to use what? Light. So that's how I know who I'm dealing with on this planet. You practice your goals, I achieve, you make practice together to understand that you understand the principles of life. And you're practicing and you're trying to, that means you, your children, will be a much higher manifestation of God in flesh. All right? So here, the most outline is the fruits here, as I said, outline. The lowest outline, this is the food category. Look at this for a second, continue on. But I ain't got much time. I ain't got much time. We ain't so, got no so, time. So, Look, I got to have something. Keep going. 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 All right, right here. Go, go back one. All right, so right here. Um, chi in your body. You have 12 meridians. We showed you the um, the, um, the, um, the nadis. All right? You have three nadis. You have the uh, ida and the pingala and also your shishuna. Now, those are Sanskrit words. I'll get to that in a second. But right here, you have the lungs, which is activated between 3 and 5 a.m. Um, large intestine 5, 7, um, stomach 7, 9, spleen 9, 11, um, heart 11, 1, small intestine 1, 3, urinary bladder 3, 5, kidneys 5, 7, um, cardio 7, 9, triple bladder 9, 11, um, gall bladder 11, 1, liver 1, 3. This is the time when each of these organs, based on how much energy is pushed through and which that you have absorbed, all right, during the day and night when you go to sleep, one of these, all these areas are activated every two hours in your body. Now, even when you're not asleep and you're awake, you should be able to absorb enough energy in order to send through your nervous system in order to help with the healing of these areas. So, think about it. If you have a disease, for example, if you have lung problems, respiratory problems, you have asthma, bronchitis, all right, at three to five in the morning, you will meditate. You will wake up and meditate and send energy, extra energy, through the breath into your lungs or into any of these particular areas you see, okay? Let me continue on. Keep going. Oh, go back one, please. Look right here. It says, man is the breath made of flesh. That's in the Holy Quran of Circle 7. Continue on. Right here. It says, teach them that are law and man or one. But that his cartly thoughts and words and deeds, man tore himself away from the law and debased himself. Teach that the holy breath will make them one again. You saw harmony and peace. Let's continue now. So, this is the big thing. Let's get to the breathing right quick. I got to do, I got to do four things right quick. All right. Five things right quick. <laughs> 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 All right. This is what I'm talking about. Everybody. Sit up in your chair. 
your chair straight, hands on your lap, all right? What we get ready to do is to correct the correct posture in which that you're going to do a full breath, taking a deep breath, full breath through your nostrils. So you're going to breathe in, right, and then hold your breath. If you're jiggy, put your head back. And then as you breathe forward, you're going to... All right? What we're going to do is five of these, five to ten, let's do ten. We're going to do ten, not a whole fifteen. But relax, breathe in deeply, hold your breath. You're going to hold your breath for about maybe three. Make sure your tongue is up at the top of your palate, right behind your um, two front teeth. Put your head back, breathe in, hold it. One, two, three, four, out. Right? Come on. Nine more. All right? Continue on. We're going to do five. We ain't got, got the time. So three more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Two more. Now, once you do enough practice, you will notice that there's an a energy lift from your liver and from your spleen. Your spleen is behind your stomach, and your liver is here on the right hand side. All right? This is the breath in which you tap into in order to eliminate toxins. Your liver has over 500 functions in your body alone. That's why you take the R off the word liver, you have to worry about it. So it's one of the major organs in your body. This is how you eliminate the toxins from it because it has such a hard job as it is. This is how you eliminate the toxins from it, okay? This body is breath technique that I just showed you. Continue on. Hold the question until I, I got to finish the breath first. All right, you're going to do the heart now. You're going to do one of these. Close your right nostril. So head, close your right nostril. Take a deep breath in. To the left. Okay, close both nostrils. And hold it as long as you can. So you're going to hold it for about 12 seconds. And then let the breath out through the one half of the right nostril slowly. All right? This is highly concentrated. This is done one time. It says through here, but one time. This is how you eliminate toxins from your heart. Nobody need to have heart disease when you know how to breathe. Nobody need to have cirrhosis of the liver if you know how to breathe. Okay. Now this is for the thyroid gland and the parathyroid gland. Right now people start to have thyroid problems. So this is the breath technique for the thyroid. You're taking a deep breath through the left nostril. Well, close off your right nostril first. Taking a breath through the deep through the left nostril. Then close both nostrils for a few seconds. Make it three seconds. Open the right nostril halfway and let the breath out slowly. Now, reverse the order. We're going to do uh, five of these. So, five of each side. Okay? So, you there? Let's go to the lungs now. Alright? Take a full breath. Here it is. Close the right nostril with the right thumbs. Take a full breath in through the left nostril. Close both nostrils and expel through the mouth with the ha sound. Alright? You'll do five of these. So it's like this.
left. All right. So all diseases are remedied. If you learn how to sit in, on the rut and separate your feet and allow your hands to rest on your lap, all right, and you can visualize now, surrounded by a bright golden cloud, you direct the golden light to concentrate to any um, area of your body. Well, he actually has an online and, class. Right, and also my book, and how to get through the month. No, I accept what we call me for. Or order it from the website. That's right. Dr. Aline Elbe. <laughs> yeah, DrAlineElbe.com. And, and also, too, because um, we got the phone. It's time to go. Let me do that. Yeah, I need you. Um, I do want to show y'all that if you have 8% hydrogen peroxide, it helps to alkaline the body. It also helps to get rid of parasites and different things like that. Some of y'all, um, y'all didn't see the black salvage. I really want y'all to know about because a lot of us have family that have crossed over because of disease or cancer. But this is very nice for 1400. And it pulls cancer out of body. It helps to separate the disease cells from the cells. You can also look it up on YouTube. It's called Black Style. And that's called S A L E. It's called Kimberly. And she came in. Because it's been a long way before then. But we just want to take some questions real quick. Um, but we do have people that are going to take some questions. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take some questions. I'm going to take some questions. I'm going to take some questions. It's up to you. Um, we do it only for about three seconds or six seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can also one of the things too is all energy. In order to this one, all my enemies they use in order to bust out and uh, bust out chemtrails. Alright? And also you want know, uh, ionize and you know, also um, magnets around you also. And so there's also a particular gem such as amethyst, alright? Or cat's or cat's or uh, tiger's eye. Alright? These special crystals around you also. Now if I ask you who's alive, in the old testament, the priests had a breastplate of 12 gems that symbolize the 12 tribes of Israel. That's also shown you within the book of Revelations about the 12 sons of uh, gems. So the Lord that is called a breast. So you just think that uh, natural seed is going to work in the soil? Yeah, but it works, but what we recommend is um, you know, start doing um, green houses. You know, start doing green houses, or you can plant inside your home. Make sure you have the bed window or something so that you can get the same out. Hey, but you should get the vowels for the shop. Yes. Um, as you know, um, the kernel is the I sound. I. The third I is E. The E sound. The back of the head is when you do not have a dial, it's a Y. Open, you can receive the light. That's the why the opening of the seven seals. So now, as you breathe, 
Your chakras are able to go to a similar the lane that's coming from the cosmos and coming from the sun. Helping you magnetize, hence the law of attraction. Yes. Right, right. Those are those are the sensory uh, ways of activating the chakras. Right. But remember the word bow L. Bow is something that's what? Sacred and oath. L is power force of God with the legal. So when you put that together, you come up with the sacred force or the sacred center or the sacred God. You know, so when you do the vowels, it produces a soul urge within the individual. Like, for example, I, that's why you notice none of the ancient scripts had vowels. Metro didn't have vowels. Arabic didn't have vowels. Hebrew didn't have vowels. Didn't have vowels. Didn't have vowels. None of the ancient scripts had vowels. Of course, when I come within three feet of your orbit field, the word consonant, no, the word consonant stems from the root word of consonant. And the word consonant, based on what's teaching, means that which remains the same. So, what causes the change in pitch is the vowels. So, I would know how to say the words based on the vowels from me being within the three feet around the top of the division. So, I would know how to feed that person or the, you know, help that person boost their energy just by saying particular terms. This is what the ancients knew. That's why there's no vowels, but you take to put the vowels in as you see fit based on the connection to the individual. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's also the picture showing too. Is that we are all, all androgynous or um, asexual looking, um, you know, and her what's called hermaphrodite or homophobite until um, certain hormones kick in in order to establish. Um, those particular you know, genitals, you know, the female and male. And that's based on the hormones that you produce um, after nine weeks, which is testosterone and estrogen. Now, the women can see the first, I'm sorry, brothers. The animals that the Bible is talking about is one of the atomic structures I showed you earlier, which is carbon. But the first structure of that carbon manifested is the female woman, the black, so called black woman. All right? Um, we came 150 years later, brothers. Um, after the month. All right? 150 years later. And this is scientifically proven. You can look at the right now, and the scientists are verified what I'm telling you. Okay? And the whole, the only way that we came was actually through the woman practicing certain techniques um, in which they were open up their womb and you see the sort of fat of energy. And actually, that's how she would get pregnant. That's the real concept of the immaculate conception that you come from. You do the book called Secrets of Regeneration by Hitler Tima. The secrets of each generation, and you can actually um, see what I'm talking about, that all the cultures around the world, ancient religious cultures, had the same stories of the lack of deception, hundreds and thousands of years before the um, so called Bible story. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Good. Um, the herbs and the shepherds, we believe that that's been the brain in the herbs. Um, we believe the people of Lava, Guadalcoma, Jameson, we also need Oblivia, we also need St. John of York, and Valeria of York. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, that was called Kimberley, ancient Kimberley, which is called, you know, 400 years old, Black South, and it's that. Um, it's a mixture of herbs and mixture of drawers, pins from all the body. Mm -hmm. For any type of disease. Right, you see, you're going to work on it. You're going to work on it. You're going to work on it. You're going to allow for it to be there for 24 hours. Um, after you, you can actually take the bandage off, make sure it's moist, so you can use some type of shape on it, the body, and just make sure it's moist. And after about three days or so, um, whatever. Cancer is in it will actually come out. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, sometimes it may take up to nine days, but the cancer comes out the body. So the only thing with breast cancer, it comes out. When it draws you, you put on the air. So salve is S A L V E. Salve means a drawing agent. That's what salve really draws. So it actually is going to feel like a suction 
being pulled from Okay? It worked very well for Jimmy to make that sense. You can see her sister um, in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, she had um, breast cancer, and the doctors did not diagnose her with it. And so she got on this and pulled out a mass of, yes, a mucus. And that's actually what that is. Put out a um, mucus out of her breast. And she took that mucus to the doctor, and they looked at it under the microscope. And he said, oh, this is cancer. You don't have to do surgery. Uh, fool, I just want you this because it's out of <laughs> So no surgery took place that day. <laughs> OK? All right, and we are going to just uh, sell the people. Uh, yeah. you know, Including ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's how I'm going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right? And we're not talking about just cancer. We're also going to have a disease in the area. All right? So we've got to avoid it because it's that same thing. Any more questions? Sure. Right. Okay. Yeah, All right. Oh, questions. yes. I was going to the place, but uh, I don't know if you want to know if it's still a uh, license place. And, uh, the yeah, yeah, that, that, was first, that was the first. Oh, I didn't even get into it, but I did, I, I, did have, I, did, I did have a little circle um, up here in which that we was talking about that. Um, how my wife and I had a place on the car for six years. And um, you know, certain things that didn't even transpire for like the two years of us navigating them. You know, um, we've been stopped by state patrolmen, we've been stopped by sheriffs. Sheriffs never mess with us. Black or white. All right. The police is the only ones that wish that would have to think that they had some type of authority. And then when we tell them they policy enforces, why do we go down, um, you know, downtown? And all of a sudden, the last show just to be sure you're all copying it, you know, then you start to realize that you got the average of it. But it's a very stressful demonstration, bro. Yeah, yeah. Until we are unified, you know, yeah. yes, you went in court, but your blood pressure go up and you, you get gray hair. <laughs> That's how I got these little gray hairs under my chin, chin, chin. Right? And because we actually put ourselves as the guinea pigs in order to find out what was true about the marriage movement and what was for us. So I can tell you about the things that actually, you know, happened. When I first went to court, when I first went to court, um, I had a female um, judge. Mm -hmm. As soon as I walked through the door, I did like this, and hit him with a fidelity sign, all right? But then, Mason, that is the Royal March degree, seven degree, second veil. You see Pop Miller draw me doing like this. I hit him with that. She started fussing out the bailiff. Mm -hmm. He wanted him to take off his kufi. Right. And so he kept saying, take off your hat, take off your hat. I said, that's my religious um, head dress. The judge took to him and said, leave him alone. Show D for the head back. And he kept saying, take off your hat, take off your hat. Like she was like, talking to him. I'm like, dude, they know him yet. <laughs> and so she turned around and said, did I tell you to leave him alone? Oh, dear. We and she said, if we don't leave him alone, I'm going to replace you. And have another baby in here. There's some things about this situation that you don't understand. There's some things that you don't understand. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a little bit more up on what is going on here than you are. And so they call us up. The DA came. I didn't have to go through the line this day as they referred to it. The DA told me over. He said, You got driver's license? No. No. You got insurance? No. No. He said, he said, um, what else did he say? You got registration? No. Nope. Okay, well, dismiss. Thank you. <laughs> And so, <laughs> we, we was out of there in two minutes. George Jackson walked. $400 in a month. Why the stuff in the first place? Because, because I ain't had no registration. Because <laughs> I had my own pants on my car. The police officer or didn't recognize my mobile. <laughs> Did you appeal it? Because no, you planted the seed. You planted the seed, and somebody came along and watered it. You still yes, happy about it? So I'm actually being a very nice. I'm on board. Yeah, we can. But I still have been doing it. Thank y'all for coming out. Yeah. 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 Give it up, give it up, give it up. That's right, y'all.
When you bring these challenges in town, we need y'all to come out and support. Just like y'all did these last few weeks. We appreciate it. Been with the brothers, been with the, the uh, vendors out there. And uh, we'll see y'all on the 22nd of March at the King Arts Complex. Thank y'all.
drop that to your uh sister can't trust them in Like, I'm paying it through this account. You know what I mean? I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I know what to do. 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 I know what to do.
I know last night I was ooh, last night I was like Lord. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and no, I put it up. Their room is normally cold. cold. Yes, yeah, I don't know why. All yeah, of a sudden, but, yeah, but Aleem is the inferno. Yeah. He is the inferno girl. <laughs> so that room is like, you have to keep the door closed. It's like ice cold normally. Oh. You could just open the closet, you have been cool. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, the closet it gets rough. And our room is. Oh, warm in there? Uh huh? It's warm in there? No, I'm just saying it's warm in here. Yeah, I turned the heat up because I was freezing. Okay. okay. I even pulled the chair close to the heat. <laughs> y'all, y'all about the heat? Yes. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I don't move, guys. No, yeah. D, can you bring your chair from up downstairs? Another chair. You sign my book before you leave, dog. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's funny, Sylvia? No time like the present. Because, because she asked me right before you did. Oh, this year. Sign, the sign hers. <laughs> oh. Right. Dang, Diallo, I thought you that was I thought you was on steroids no, when you said that. No, 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 no I'm laughing at you and Diallo. What I do? I, I'm still, I'm still yeah, laughing from what happened. The kids. The kids. That's all I have to say. The kids. D-Lo, did you see that um, video where that lady is, <laughs> where she peeled her bananas because she not, she not going to pay for the peel? No, yes. She peeled it, brother. She would pick her grapes off the vine. <laughs> And she brings yeah. off the bottom so she don't have to pay for that extra right. weight. I, I, so that's I, funny I, I know that with her cabbage. She, yeah. all the all the she also went as far as when they use the ketchup in the ranch. <laughs> oh my gosh, she also have one light bulb in the house. Just yes, one. You have to keep taking the light bulb. <laughs> when you in the kitchen, that's where you got the light bulb. That's the one with the boyfriend who um, yes. took a shower for two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. She got a baby monitor in there. You is in there. You wait a minute now. You sure, approaching right? two minutes. Yeah. You want yeah, everybody gets some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's oh. <laughs> that thing was funny and nasty. I'm like, wow, lady. She said ten dollars. <laughs> 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 Looking for that. The spoons? <laughs> no, 
Um, you should see that Shirley, I mean, Sylvia at uh, Keith Leo's house. She got full. She made me get full. I done been over there a hundred times. <laughs> Thank you. Well, she showed you. Eileen. El Bay. Thank you, dear. I appreciate this. Now, I'm just snacking all day. How do you spell Cincinnati? C I N C I N N A T I. Okay. Thank you. Peace. Peace. I don't care. I'm going down here. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay. No. Oh, you don't want avocado? Yes, please. I ain't got anything to get that. Because <laughs> you was the co-pilot. Oh, my co-pilot is officially fired. I was what? He said, officially you, he, said he about to give you a raise. I'm going to give her a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, we had a great time. I energy. Just, we're just getting here. <laughs> the lecture was over an hour and 20 minutes ago. And you know they had them hemmed up. Right there in the corner. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Right there in the corner. Right there in the corner. But for some reason, though, no matter who it is, man, the people don't come out like they come out for Ray Hagen. Oh, what it is. Well, you know what it is. For that church. The church bomb. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I was up there, I don't know what I said. <laughs> Come on. Hey, man, brother, hey, man. Exactly. <laughs> Plus, also, Ray Hagen's went mainstream with Michael Bay's then. Yeah, that's true. You're right. He was on his radio show Wait, weekly. And, and he was uh, on Michael Bay's TV show, too, when he had the TV show. Yeah. You know, on TV One. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's why. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why. We had 250 people at the King Arts Complex. Yeah, my hands are clean. Wow. No, no, I was going to say, yeah, I had four hours of that. I was going to hand your husband's book. Calm down, sweetie. You're about to hug me now. Miss Shirley. You wasn't going to try to touch them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we love you. Huh? I understand. I like y'all too. I tried to get a room in the corner so I can get some real groceries. <laughs> You put, you put me down for Keith Hill. No, you don't want to stay with me. You would stay in his house. You put me down for him. No, I couldn't, I couldn't function in his house. You couldn't function? She'd be crying all the time. <laughs> Wouldn't you? The spirit be moving. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sister Shirley. I'm running my mouth. Look, Annie called me out of my name. Sister Sylvia. Man, I'm triggered. It's late. Shirley is the one you dating, isn't it? The brother, the brother, um, who gave <laughs> Shirley is the sister that comes to the lectures for dating. What's that brother who you said told you about the the beer? What's his name? Brother Carl. Is he the one who lived in Hamilton, Ohio? Yep. Okay, Carl what? But this is his last name. Yes, he do. He got to remember. Chill. I can call him. He don't know. I call him. Are you in charge of his car yet? Yeah. You did? I'm about to. Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm thinking. But that's what I need, his last name. I don't know why I didn't write it. He the only one. What is calling last name? Is it too late to call no, him as 11? My, my hands are clean. I'm holding food. I'm not touching your Well, is it too late oh, for right. me to call him? Oh, go ahead. Is it? Yeah. It's no, 11 o'clock. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> you caught that, huh, sis? <laughs> She wasn't answering her question. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm late because I'm hungry. I got an hour before I get I'm late. Oh, you got an hour before you got to mail your stuff off? Girl, damn them avocados. Yeah. Come on, let's get it done. You need me to help you record it? Okay, I'll read it. I have to tweet something real quick. Okay.
He might not be answering. Yeah. You recognize his number. Carl, can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a I would just say Carl. I was about to get the whole name. I thought. That's a shame. These men taking us to St. Thomas and I can't remember his last name. You talk to your sister today? Tweet. Okay. Fifteen minutes. Eat. Eat. Let me take my lotion. You said fifteen minutes. You about to do what? A lotion. You got to lotion. Okay. You the only person I know that use the bathroom at four in the morning or three in the morning and put lotion on her hands. You know that suit, Miss Sylvia. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm all in your plate. I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> he just. I'm so sorry. It's I'm, I'm uh, about tomato. To, I'm about to divorce you. That's my brother. Tomato. Tomato. You gonna know, divorce me as a co-pilot? I'm sorry. She can put a wrap. Right, right here. Right there oh. next Sister to her. Sister Sylvia put the thing on top of the accident. I was trying to wait if she had some room. Oh, you oh, can wait. put you can put your laptop down okay. so I can fit so you can eat comfortably. Is that my phone? I'm sorry. 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 I'
Yeah. Actually, I changed the recipe, but let him go ahead. Yeah, we made it. I, I got the idea when we moved to Mexico. It's tomatoes, avocado. Can you do this one for Mr. Allen? Yeah, you're right. Um, avocado, tomatoes, peppers. Peace, fam. Jalapeno, avocado, tomato. You at work? Pepper, uh, like bell pepper. Onion. Oh, okay, I'm sitting here with uh, Dr. Okay. Liam and his wife. She, we tried to figure out your last mm-hmm. name so she could um, bring your card. She was in front of you. You said it up in the bottom? Really? McCall. I'm, I'm so, I'm triggered. I don't know how they remember that. McCall. M-C-C-A-L-L. Okay. Okay, fam, my bad. You good, though? Hi, Carl. Call McCall Jr. It's two L's? Yeah, M C C A L L. Yeah, I wish you could have been in Columbus today, God. It was off the same, man. We had a packed house. Yeah. It was on fire, bro. It was on fire. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have that Columbus joint. That's the joint I'm gonna really pump up out of all the from the whole weekend. Today was crazy. Yeah. Okay. How do you spell Hamilton? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I let him know. Oh, I got too many eyes. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Peace, fam. Cross in here, everybody. Peace, Carl. Peace. Okay, God. Peace. You didn't get no speed? You didn't get no speed? Uh-uh. I'm going to go get it. I did. It's sitting there. It's sitting right there. Okay. It's sitting right there. If you move the water, you have room for it. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And the uh, pieces are like that. You know, Coach? I feel like you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the least I can do is get his soup, his soup since you have cooked. What did he say? He said killing them and stuff without a lot. Can you say something like that? Yeah. 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 The sheriff here in Indian County says this is the most horrific crash he has oh, yeah. ever seen. Like, and because of the mm-hmm. sensitive nature uh, of the said, uh, oh, okay. we have chosen to keep our distance. But as you can see, there are many emergency vehicles on the scene right now. We do want to show you some video. 10 TV was here after that crash was reported. Mom knew about it too. 
But they said it was such a bad wreck that it was off the chain. They can't even get close to it. And why say exactly? They're not allowed to say nothing about it. <laughs> 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 
Y'all have some cold days? One day. <laughs> one day. One day, like this is 16 degrees. Let's try 16 below. Yeah, you did that one. But I love you, though. Well, I mean, 20 something below. Windshield? Yeah, that's that's nice. No, the windshield, you're talking about 80. You know, we came back from Jordan. Right. But the next day was 65. Right. So we were trying to figure out how the hell they go to 8 degrees and then jump back up to 65. And the same day it hit 65, it hit like 50 bucks. Exactly, within 24 days on out. And that's how you know somebody needs to make it to work. That don't make no sense. I don't even quit. I want to have to quit too. Yeah, I'm going to have to quit too. Is it the US or is it Russia? Yeah, I'm going to have to quit too. It could be your boy, Putin. Yeah, I'm going to have to quit too. That's where the technology came from. Yeah, that's where the technology came from. Right. Yeah, that's where the technology came from. Always big enough with Bobby and Irene. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you can put on the thumb drive. Okay, it saved my presentation. Saved. Okay. Uh, okay. It's a Mac, though. I hope I can pull it up. If not, I can pull it up. I think you should. Go, um, go to www.dedry.com. Deride dot you dot net. Yeah. Okay. Log, log in. in. You could D. D is a doctor. Uh -huh. Because I have it saved. I don't try to, I don't have to remember it. Okay. Never put a site and then log in. Okay. So D. Uh -huh. D. You want Russia on the most? Yes. U.S. was the next one. Okay. Who said he did? He decapitated when he was doing this. Who said I'm not walking down in my country? Where am I? Mugabe said the same thing. Yeah, the other African There they go, the combine. Yeah, it won't be a talk when she's doing this. Okay. It's only 12 slides, so. Well, you better. <laughs> you know what that thing tastes like? That uh, foodie? Uh huh. Like the sticks? Yeah. That's what it tastes like? Uh huh. Okay, we're going to week seven, right? Uh, go to this right here. Connect presentation. I connect. Well, let me okay. email you the presentation. Okay, it's Royal House. Yeah, that's why I like that photo. I put one in my mouth in the store. Why are you taking it? You're going to be happy you're taking a girl. You're going to have your little girl. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, that's the thing I won't be taking it. <laughs> it ain't you that's going to be uh, the one that don't need to be taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Royal... <laughs> 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 
Yeah, because um, I do not want another child. <laughs> if I have another child, it better be the best time out walking, talking, and going well, to give the party me, by themselves. I'll raise her. Shoot, all these folks up in here, raise her. <laughs> yeah, y'all say that now to come out. Okay, think I'm saying that now to come out. You're going to be like, damn, no. you ain't going to bring my baby back. <laughs> <She's laughs> like, girl, you signed this contract. <laughs> I got room for two. Room for two? Two kids. Yeah, and shoot, I done, it's been so long, I don't care what color they are. Nah, you tripping. I got to speak up for my child. I ain't going to Can't, can't mess up the A. What part of Cleveland do you know, sister? Okay. So I need to open, I need to download it. She looks familiar to me. I don't know why. It's not like I, I've been in Cleveland a lot, so long. You might know her people. Her aunt used to own a restaurant. Oh, that's right. What was it called in Cleveland? Decantese. What's that? African food. And Jamaican. Was it at 116? I believe so. Her, aunt, her aunt name was Mildred. Conta. Conta, they call her Conta. She can burn, boy. When I used to eat flesh, her red snapper, oh, dang. Great. Okay, now I'm going back to the website, right? Okay, it says, I'll read that direction so that way you don't have to go. Okay. It says, go to slideshow. Open it. Where's the slide Go to show? slideshow right here? No, on your presentation. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to get used to Apple. Um, yeah, because I'm switching over. Um, One more PC for me. Sidebar. Slideshow. Okay. Go to slideshow. And say, make sure your microphone's ready. Is your microphone ready? Yeah. Okay. Click on the record slideshow option. That's the place. That's out there. Maybe it's different for. Let's go to view and go back to slideshow. No, it don't do it. You're in a full screen. Mm. Click on the slideshow. What? Did he just fall off the stairs? He said, record slideshow option. Slideshow. Can you see how? View a slideshow with preview. Display several files on the. Uh uh. Convert graphic files. View an animator. No. View an animator. We're trying to record the slideshow. Yeah. Mm. 
see your microphone up there. But Do you like your apple better than... It's so much I don't know about it, but I do. I love it. Come on, we got to find this. We might have to use Aline's computer. Fine. Where's it? That's her speech. Start speaking. You feeling start speaking? What does complementary medicine brings to health care providers? Yeah. Gamma Morgan HSM 542 Health Rights, R-E-S-P-O-N-S-I-B-L-I-T-Y Professor, Michelle G-I-M-I-L-L-I-O-N Keller Graduate School of Management, February 23, 2014 okay. Abstract. AI Irvida is a science of life, A year equals life, Veda equals science or knowledge, which is more than a system of treating illness. <coughs> this we paper will examine it, yeah. the ethical and legal issues I and alternative medicine brings we to healthcare industry.